Hello everyone, my name is Rakshi and welcome back to some more Let's Play Mother 3. After waiting at the end of the ep last episode, we're now going up these stairs. Uh, we're still making our way through the Empire Porky building, making our way to the 100th floor and it seems like the elevators have stopped and well, we have these staircases and that lead into a new door. And... Huh... Master Lucas and friends, I have been waiting for you. I've changed my hat, so perhaps you don't recognize me, but I was the chauffeur that to, of that difficult to drive him far too long limousine. I'm pleased to see you've made it this far. I will now determine if you're fit to meet with Monster Porky or not. Kindly follow me, if you would. Mm, okay, I suppose we will. Uh, so, what, what's going on here? Master Porky just loves to play fun games, so I will use this Super whack a mole game to judge whether or not you're fit to be a wonderful playmate of his. First, allow me to explain the wonderful rules. Whoever hits the most moles with their mental A button hammers will win the game. Master Porky absolutely adores that word, win. If the words indulge and humor mean anything to you, you'll know what to do. But if you try to throw the match, Monster Porky will be very displeased indeed. Okay, do you understand the rules now? So yeah, basically, welcome to the Porky games, where losing is better than winning, as but throwing the game entirely is also bad. So yeah, we uh, got the rules. So hit the old guy in the helmet and you'll be zapped. Do try to be careful. Now then. Let's bring out Master Lucas' competitor, Master Mini Porky, the grand champion of the Porky games. A Porky bot, basically. Ready, Master Mini Porky? Begin! So, at the first event, whack a mole, how will he do? Well, he hit a mole, so that's good, I suppose. And hey, there, he hit another. Isn't he great? Wow, simply amazing! You hit a grand total of 10 moles! Alright, you're up, Master Lucas. So yeah, it's our turn now, and... Well, you guys remember, we need to not win by too much. So, one, two, three... Oh, what? Why are you checking it? Oh, 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 no, no. Four, five, six, seven... Eight and nine. Okay, so now you just want to wait the rest of the time. And uh, if we see another one of those heads, yep, you can do that and you'll get zapped, which is pretty funny. Uh, you can also go over here and read this. This is written on the cue card. Hit nine to lose just barely. So yeah, we hit nine and that will lose, let us lose just barely and basically get us true to the game. Now for the results. Master Lucas's record, ta-da! Total moles hit, nine! Oh my, Master Mini Porky, you've won the intense match by a razor-thin margin of one mole! What a wonderful game, truly heart-stopping. Now then, let's move on to the next fun and exciting game. So yeah, first event, we lose by just one, which is really what we need to do if we want to advance. And I like how... Um, the audience was just drawn on the wall there. But let's uh, quickly run through these next set of stairs and enter the next game. Things are here really heating up now. Let's see here. Huh, some water, some long planks. Are we playing pirates? Are we going to walk the plank? Oh, no, it ends on the other side. Next is the Purple Bridge Race Game. You both start from the purple bridge at the same time, and the first to reach the other side wins. You understand the rules, yes? And uh, again, you know, it might uh, be good to lose just barely. So, whenever we're ready, we can get to our starting position, and let's read our cue card. Your fly is open, XYZ. Uh, how embarrassing. Oh, Lucas. Ah, uh, well, you got it fixed now. Now you're much manualer. Manlier. All right, on your set, mark, get set, go, and I cannot talk. Is when you start, okay? All right, on your mark, get set, go, go, go. So, now we can go, and oh, 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 there, there's crocodiles and sharks. 
And oh, look how fast he is. Oh, oh, he stopped. Oh, okay. Oh, this is such a scary competition. Ooh, who will win? All these sharks and crocodiles everywhere. Oh, he's still going. Oh, he's making a dash. Yes. Oh, he's almost there. Will we beat him? Will he beat us? Oh, it's so close. It's so close. It's so close. I can't watch. I can't watch. And it's a photo finish. Oh my, Monster Mini Porky. He won the match by a nose. Truly a fantastic race. So, with that, it's time to move on to the final and third game. That's right, the Monster Porky games are almost over. Two events down and only one left to go. And Kumatora and Duster and Boney certainly crossed that bridge a lot faster than Porky and I did. Or Monster Mini Porky and I, I should say. So let's see what the last game has to offer for us. We're at the final game. Please continue this way, if you would. We will indeed. Hmm. The final game is To Whom Goes the Boom? Alright, here's a quick explanation. Use your mental A button to air pump to quickly inflate your balloon until boom! The first to pop his balloon wins. You understand the rules now, right? Yes, we do. Then please go to your position. First, let's uh, read our cue. Your fly isn't open. Don't worry about it. Ah, well, that's a relief. Do, do you have anything to say? No, he, he just trash talks us with his noises. Well, let's get in position. Ooh, triple the points for this final game. So we have a very good chance to come from behind. Although, of course, you know, we shouldn't actually win and come from behind, should we? So yeah, just uh, slowly press the A button. Make sure you don't pass him. And yep, just make sure your balloon is pretty much the biggest it can get before it pops when his is too. And uh, you should win. Or you should lose and therefore advance. So win. Winning by losing. Yeah, and uh, we're deemed fit to visit Master Porky. So that's great. We have another staircase to climb. Another set of staircases, I should say. And there's also a sofa. I definitely recommend the taking a quick nap just to heal you up. Because you haven't uh, healed in a while uh, from the lab. lab. Uh, at least, I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, let's move on now. And Oh no. Wh what's this? Lucas, welcome to my room. This is the real 100th floor that you wanted to come to oh so badly. Again, I welcome you, my beloved detestable pests. I was the one who invited you here, so you're free to come inside if you wish. It's just, I've given orders to let no one enter my room. To that little attack toy you see right there. Who knows, maybe this is where we'll say goodbye, even though I invited you here. Alright, let's turn it on. Say hello to the natural killer cyborg. Yep, that's right. We have another boss battle here, and it sure is big. So, uh, for this battle, you really, really want to do a lot of stat altering uh, to keep your uh, team pretty strong. Um, I think I'm going to start, actually, um, by just raising our defenses uh, by a lot. And uh, I also, of course, want to get his stats down by a lot. So let's start getting his offense down with both uh, Kumitora and um, Kumitora and Duster. And I, I'm not sure if he has a shield. No, no, he doesn't. Okay, so that was a bit of a waste of a turn for Boney, but that's okay. Boney can't really do all that much at the start anyway. And we've uh, decreased his de offense quite by quite a bit and raised our own defense. So that definitely will help a lot. And uh, okay, yeah, it will just attack. It still does a lot. So um, aside from that, I'm also just gonna throw up a regular shield on everyone, and then get his offense down. No, I'll, I'll get his defense down now. You know what? I'll get his offense down one more turn. And with Boney, I'm just gonna throw a super bomb. We're really not gonna needing it. Be, not gonna be needing it anymore. So uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, didn't even work. I guess uh, his offense is down all the way it can be. Or we just got unlucky. Either way, it shouldn't matter too much. Now let's get its defense down now. Yep, there we go. That defense is lowered by a lot. And oh, it missed. Nice. Um, okay, so we have a shield. We have our defense down. Let's now get our offense up. 
um, and once more get his defense down with both uh, Kumatora and um, Kumatora and Duster. I keep forgetting Duster's name when it's right on screen. That is just really poor of me. But yeah, okay, there we go. Defense decreased and defense decreased. Nice, it did work. And now everyone's offense should be up. So yeah, we should be in pretty good shape now. Um, I might actually throw up a counter if I can. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna put up a regular counter on everyone just so he can start damaging himself. Now uh, with Kumitora, of course, you do have a lot of different attacks. Uh, we have PK Ground. I'm not sure how strong PK Ground is, but I, I feel like trying it out here. I'm gonna throw some Super Bombs. I think... Yeah, Bony is pretty much all out, so Bony, you can just do normal bite attacks. And you do pretty, uh, quite a bit of damage with those, actually, so yeah, that should be absolutely fine. And yeah, PK Ground hits really nice and hard. So this battle should not take all that long for us now. Uh, we just want to keep uh, an eye on our uh, HP for the rest. And okay, it went for a PSI counter device. So PSI moves, yeah, those aren't going to be fun. Um, that means that Kumatora can't really do that. So I'm just going to do a regular bash with her. Um, but I do want to check. I think the shield snatcher, does it get rid of counter? I keep forgetting. Yeah, okay, yeah, it does. So... That's good. That's good to know. We could have probably done a, a PSI attack again with Kumatora, but that's okay. We should still be fine. It does hit pretty hard here. So now with Lucas, I'm going to start doing my life up on everyone just to keep everyone's uh, health up there. And uh, with, I'm just going to do regular attacks with Duster because I think... Okay, no, that isn't quite as strong as the bombs. So I think, yeah, I'm going to use up all my bombs with duster uh for the rest of the turns because if it does more you know and we're not going to be needing it for the rest of the battle we might as well right and oh end of the century beam this will probably hurt quite a bit yep it sure targeted everyone let's see how much it does oh not even that much and it countered all of them wow that was a lot weaker than i expected it to be Okay, well that works for me. That definitely works for me. Let's uh, go ahead and do some more attacks, throw some bombs. And um, Kumatora's PK ground will definitely deal heavy damage every time. And nice, it even fell over. So that means it can't uh, move at all now. That is definitely very good for us. Let's throw another super bomb and bite some more. Boom, super bomb. That's right. And don't, don't worry about saving your PP or anything. Uh, you don't need to save it at all. And there we go. That battle went by quite quickly. The NK Cyborg has been defeated. And we got 34,000 experience. Lucas at 64 now. Kumatora at 64. And Duster and Bony didn't get a level up out of that. But that's okay. Lots of explosions and boom. It is gone. Let's move on. Walk through this pond and hear some interesting music. I believe this is actually music from uh, Mother One or Earthbound Beginnings, as it is called, because it's now being released on the virtual console on the Wii U since it is last E3, which is pretty damn cool. I still need to pick it up myself, but I'm definitely planning on doing that. Because uh, while it isn't as polished as Mother 3 and Earthbound, from what I recall, it is definitely a good way for me to show support to Nintendo. That I'm also really would love a localized uh, Mother 3. But let's get in this boat and if we get in this boat actually well you'll start to hear Earthbound-ish music and you can see a few Earthbound things you know that's the fan of the Runaway 5 and uh, I believe that's Nessie the creature from Earthbound. Uh, you can see a cab and a phone of course which is the way you save in the original Earthbound or in the original Earthbound, in Mother 2 or Earthbound. Then you have like the Sky Flyer, I believe it is, and the Eraser and Pencil statue, the helicopter from the Monotoli building. Um, I believe that's the Dungeon Man. My uh, knowledge of Earthbound isn't as good as my knowledge of Mother 3, but yeah. Uh, you have the little bus, of course, that you can take from town to town, an ADM machine. 
a yellow submarine. And yeah, this is really cool for like Earthbound fans, you know, who played Mother 2 or Earthbound first and then went to go play Mother 3 because you got a bit of a flashback to all of these iconic things from Earthbound and they're just jogging your memory again. And of course, you know, you see a white and a black dot that's like a salt and pepper dot or something from the desert, which is pretty funny that they keep those kinds of things in there. And yeah, that is a short little boat ride, but... You know, it gives you some nice little memories if you played Earthbound and remember that. So uh, everyone gets off now and it's time to head into the next room. And uh, inside this room, there's a funny thing you can do. You can open this present to get a pencil eraser. And uh, yep, that, that, that it should go into your key items. Yep, this machine will eradicate all iron pencil shaped figures in just one second. So when we use the pencil eraser, bloop. The iron pencil statue disappeared. There's no real purpose to that, but it's just funny to do. Let me heal up real quick. And there we go, we're fully revitalized, so time to head through this door and... Hmm, there's some interesting path here. Just some grass growing through this metal floor and... A door right up ahead. Let's head inside. And, hmm. What, what's going on here? A big empty room? A big window looking over some black mountains. Really tall window and some strange machinery hanging. The beginning of the end. The end of everything. Oh hey, is is that Porky? Let's be friends. I'm Porky. I'm really just this meek little boy. Um, please do over me more. Please talk to me like good boys and girls. You know, just like me. Uh, no. That's not very nice, now is it? Actually. I'm not very nice either. And it just exploded. Oh no. That That's bad. Oh, there's a ton more. Well, this certainly isn't good. That's right. Porky01 and its cohorts attacked. Yep, we got attacked by a bunch of Porky bots. And uh, we need to now battle them. Now, one thing that I'm going to say right now is do not. Whatever you do, do not use PSI attacks. Because they will counter it right back at you and they will hurt you like there's no tomorrow. Furthermore, uh, don't bother decreasing their offense because they go down pretty quickly. Uh, it is worth it though to, um, to lower their own, um, to uh, lower, raise your own stats because you're going to be using your own stats for quite a bit. Um, I think we're just going to attack for the rest. Uh, only really Lucas is going to be useful with PSI in this entire battle. And for the rest, you know, keep your HP up. Because these will explode, just like the one we saw before. If they get too much uh, damage, they will explode. Uh, they can do some other things. Uh, they can just attack you. They generally don't hit too hard. Uh, so you shouldn't worry too much, especially if you have a counter up. That will definitely help a lot. Um, I'm also going to raise my own defense just so we can deal or uh, take a bit more damage uh, that will just come in handy throughout this entire battle and yeah for the rest Lucas will mostly just be spending time uh, assisting your party and the rest of your party will just be doing uh, bash attacks pretty much the entire time and uh, they, they will hit every now and then, but they shouldn't do too much damage. I'm also going to do an offense up now, just to uh, raise the amount of damage we did. But yeah, they will generate an explosion, can hit for around 80 damage, which, you know, it's definitely uh, not something you want to deal with too much, or at least not too many in a row. And uh, as you can see, you know, our entire party all already is uh, getting down there, uh, getting closer to the 100s. I mean, you know, Duster and uh, Lucas are still high up, but, you know, other than that, definitely just keep life up 
uh, going on. Uh, you can also actually do refresh that will slowly heal everyone's HP and I kind of like doing that uh, just because uh, it can be very helpful to just recover a little bit of health every turn. And uh, you know over, over the battle, especially in this battle since you won't take a lot of damage every turn generally, uh, to just get a bit of health back every turn is definitely very nice. Uh, furthermore, uh, Okay, Lucas's counter went away. We need to redo that. But first, I definitely want to heal everyone because I know there's going to be explosions coming soon. Yep, there's an explosion, all right. So yeah, we definitely need to be healed up uh, pretty soon because there's going to be another explosion in not too long, I think. I don't think the next one is uh, too far off of exploding. So yeah, and this uh, health will definitely help us get back pretty much full uh, there we go okay yeah but other than that they're not too da dangerous you know they d generally don't do a whole lot so uh, let's go ahead and put the counter back on on everyone and then just keep the bash attacks going and there's really not much else you can do in this battle uh, it's just taking them all down you know taking all of them down uh, keeping your health up you know because they will do around 80 damage to, to you when they explode I mean, of course, that depends on your level, too, to some extent. Um, oh, yeah, Duster's counter wasn't even necessary, apparently. But that's okay. Uh, there, there, it, does, it looks like we're only down to two of them. Uh, I think you can use PK Ground as the only PSI attack uh, of the party. Like, Kumatora can use that. Because I don't think they countered that. Uh, but overall, I would just recommend, like... Just do physical bash attacks. They should be strong enough uh, to last you throughout this battle. And especially if you do refresh, that should definitely help keeping your health up high enough where you can also use Lucas to do attack and you don't have to keep him on healing duty. At least that's the tactic I like to use. And yeah, we only have Porky05 left here it seems. Um, although sometimes if only one is left they can call for friends and they can spawn like random enemies like from the entire game uh, So that can be a bit dangerous. I think that might come now. Yeah, okay. Yeah Starting with par Parky number six it will call for help and it will just call some random enemies in now uh, Of course, you know, it's very dangerous to attack uh, Attack on all with a PSI attack. So I recommend um Using Kumatora, if you want, you can use a specific uh, move that will hit a specific party member. Uh, so her PK freeze, for example. If there is something that's weak to it, you can definitely use that on just that. Um, otherwise, you might just want to um, use some others to try and take it out. Or you can just keep focusing on the Porkies and try and take those out quickly. If you're not too worried about the... Um, about the companions that are called in. For example, you can get lucky and have them call in like the um, robot from um, from the Saturn Village, which will do like absolutely nothing. And for example, now we got pretty lucky with the Slitter Hand. The Slitter Hand will barely do anything. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it alive and uh, not really worry about it. Um, Cause it won't really do too much to us. So yeah, it's, it's really no danger to us at all. And there we go. There's another Porky. So I'm just going to bite or attack it. Um, and not worry about the Slitter Hand. Because even if the Slitter Hand attacks, it rarely does much. And see, for example, you know, this uh, robot might do a little bit more. But we can take it out, the minor robot, with a PK Freeze. And that should be all fine. And for the rest... Oh, the Mechanical Pokey is down now. So that's good. Uh, Bony is getting a little bit low on health though, but there we go slitter hand is down and this PK freeze should take it down too. No Not even oh, but its batteries died already and there we go totally scrapped Bony and Kumatora ended the fight pretty low. Oh even more Pokies joined the fight but All of a sudden some guys rushed into the room It was the DCMC Bakio jumped out in front. Tundagasa, dramatic climaxes are when unruly dudes like us get to shine. Bakio attacks, smash. Shimizizi 
And he's this Master Porky was trying to use us to brainwash everyone. I say it's high time we screw up his idiotic plans. Attack and Porky gets destroyed. Magic jumps out into the front and ha! We ain't gonna let this Porky freak have his way. Magic attacks and smash. Porky 09 is destroyed. OJ jumps out into the front. We're gonna make you pay for all the bad stuff you've done. Get ready, it's punishment time. And smash and Parky 10 was also destroyed. And with that, we have won the battle and got a bunch of experience. That gets bounty to 64. That's all for this episode though, so thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see more, then please do consider subscribing and maybe leave a like on the video below. And I will see you in the next one.